$5,000. This is how much money the owner of Hypixel bet a popular YouTuber 30 virus he won't make 100 million coins in a week on a new profile on Hypixel Skyblock. Well, as it happens, recently I got forced to create a new profile after Hypixel basically scammed me for 150 hours of my life and made my island completely unusable. Seems fair, but yeah, I probably could just transfer some of the money and items from my main profile, but then I thought to myself, what if I had made a challenge out of this? And to prove that in the current state of the game Cactus Farm isn't that overpowered, I would give myself half the time to make 10 times as much. On Simon's difficulty scale that would be like $100,000 challenge and honestly it really felt like it, I I'm not even exaggerating, it was genuinely one of the worst experiences I had in my entire life. Okay, but first, what's the plan? I mean, you don't just show up with a seemingly impossible challenge expecting miracle. Well, while I didn't have any plan, because that would take effort, there was in fact that one idea where, if I'm lucky and everything will go right, in theory should have a slight chance of actually working out, which, now that I said that loud, probably wasn't a good enough idea to rely on. And the key was just elected mayor Marina. Buffing, probably one of the most useless skills on Skyblock. Fishing. But anyway, from the beginning, well, the first 12 minutes of the challenge I spent getting my farming, mining and foraging skill to level 7, which at the time of recording this video was the requirement to unlock the bazaar, one of the most useful institutions on Skyblock allowing you to buy and sell almost anything you need with a price being determined by supply and demand. Basically like a stock market, except with Minecraft items and people not bothering to do math. It's usually where you make money on Hypixel. So it only makes sense that the first thing I did after getting access to that well of infinite possibilities was crafting myself just a regular fishing rod, buying a couple of stacks of the cheapest bait and start to fish. Making about 50,000 coins per hour. On that pace, I should be done in around 7 years. The challenge ends in 3 days. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> because you see, I wasn't fishing for money. I was fishing for something way more powerful. I was fishing for knowledge. <laughs> okay, so basically the way it works on Hypixel is that by picking up enough of certain items your character is learning new crafting recipes, which usually has no use since everyone knows you can just buy all the stuff without the trouble of crafting it, unless that's exactly why are you doing this. In any case, the recipe I needed to learn required a collection of 1500 lily pots, which was going to take a lot of fishing. Okay, so after about an hour of fishing, I ran out of baits, which was probably the luckiest thing that could happen to me at that moment, because when I went back to the bazaar to buy some more, I noticed that for some reason crafting a stack of dark bait, which recipe I literally just learned, was literally just an instant 10,000 coins profit, which utilizing a quick craft feature I <laughs> literally just unlocked, you could craft pretty fast. And to understand what just happened and how, basically because Skyblock economy isn't as large as in real life, occasionally this thing will happen when the price of ingredients suddenly falls while the price of the product remains the same, creating some of the most overpowered money making methods in the entire game, one of which I randomly stumbled upon while miraculously meeting all the requirements to perform it. Unfortunately, because it only takes one person not understanding bazaar to screw up everything for everyone, about 20 minutes later the method was already dead, <laughs> but still leaving me with basically 3 5 million coins and pretty early allowing me to buy a few most essential upgrades and to set up a few fishing minions with a goal to help me unlock crafting recipes faster, which did totally just that and didn't screw up my whole run. And with all that being done, continuing my quest for lily pads, I went back to fishing. <laughs> which is basically all I did for the next 8 hours.
Well, around 12 hours into the challenge where like 9 was playing the game and other 3 pretending I have a life, which is actually a common misconception, I don't have a life. After some mild buzzer flipping every now and then, I was sitting at around 10 million coins in the buzzer, which just so you know is exactly 1% of my goal. I'm telling you this challenge is ridiculous. But most importantly, I finally unlocked the recipe which should make this challenge at least feasibly possible. And yes, it's the whale bait. And before you think I just found some crazy new overpowered flip I'm gonna now abuse to make billions of coins, no, <laughs> this flip has been known for ages. And it's not overpowered at all, like yeah sure the difference between ingredient cost and sale price is relatively huge, but the complexity and time you need to spend in order to craft it fully justifies it, by default making only like 5 to 10 million coins per hour, which don't get me wrong is amazing, especially for a new profile with almost nothing unlocked, but still nowhere near enough to complete this challenge in the next 10 days, <laughs> leave alone 2 days I had left. What's good about it though, that because it takes so long to craft, almost everyone prefers to just buy it off the buzzer, which creates a demand. And because it takes so long to craft, and there is high demand, it's pretty much the only flip you can do actually non-stop, like farming or mining. Except how much you make being determined by your equipment and how much time you already put into the game, it's being determined by what creative methods can you come up with. And with this recipe there is plenty room for that, except there is still one more problem, <laughs> namely even if I somehow find a way to craft it 5 times faster to complete this challenge in the next 2 days, I don't know if you realize but crafting 5 times faster also means using 5 times as much supplies and need to sell 5 times as much baits in the same period of time, which considering how small the skyblock economy is definitely would not have been possible. If it wasn't for just elected mayor Marina, buffing probably one of the most useless skills on skyblock. And yeah, she made fishing a bit simpler for me, but who cares, I don't. What actually matters, she makes fishing a bit simpler for everyone. She creates a reason for people to fish, flooding the market with raw fishing drops and skyrocketing demand for products you make from them. It's a perfect scenario with a demand I was about to meet. Uh, tomorrow though, <laughs> fishing for entire day is still kinda exhausting, so I just went to bed. Well, the second day of the challenge started with everything just falling apart. So do you remember the quick craft feature from yesterday, hands down best feature of the challenge would not be possible without it. Well, it's not perfect. As you can see, there are only three spots and these are three most expensive items you can craft with items from your inventory and which for some weird reason you cannot change. Often causing situations when the only quick crafts you care about just aren't there. The example being dark bait. Well, there is a way to avoid it by simply not learning the recipes you don't need to craft and all you need to do is to don't pick up items that would unlock it. Seems easy enough. Until you realize the item I couldn't pick up during entire 8 hours of fishing is a fish. Trust me, filling your inventory with random items after every time you need to use your inventory was annoying, but I knew it's going to be worth it, that's why I committed to it anyway. Except now we skip forward to the present morning, which I started with collecting drops from the minions I set up yesterday, and I know what you're thinking. Don't worry, I thought about it too. That's why I collected only the drops I care about and to get rid of the fishes I just picked up the minion. I tested it before, you don't get any skill XP so the drops doesn't count for the collection. Except they do. The game just doesn't tell you that. <laughs> Which is just... <laughs> fuck off. So you're telling me you're gonna notify me about every single tiny event in the game, even when it's just annoying and totally unnecessary, but at one time when it actually matters and would stop me from picking up more minions, you're just not gonna say anything. Thank you, Hypixel. Very cool. TLDR, what all this means is that if yesterday I was able to do this, now all I can do is this. which put me in front of a choice. Do I sacrifice 8 hours I already spent and start over, or do I trust this won't end up mattering and keep going, which risks sacrificing pretty much entire challenge? <sighs> well, <laughs> as much fishing for entire day wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, I wish not to do that ever again in my entire life, and as much as I knew it's going to matter, probably a lot, <laughs> I trust that I'm gonna figure out something on the way, so I decided to keep going.
Also, you may ask, why did I still need fishing minions if I already unlocked the whale bait? Because, as you may remember, to craft the whale bait you need four other baits, and while for the most part you can just ignore the first three, cause the items to unlock it you're gonna get from just fishing, for blessed bait you need prismarine crystals, which requires for you to go out of your way to farm efficiently, or to set up minions to do it for you, which is what I did, and which ended, <laughs> we all know how. And the funniest part <laughs> is that it wasn't even enough, so after I just watched this single easily avoidable detail, seriously undermining the probability of success of the entire three and a half day operation, I still had to go out of my way to unlock it. Luckily, I was missing like 50 prismarine crystals, which with all the bonuses to the drop rate took only like an extra half an hour, and with everything I needed unlocked about 21 hours into the challenge, I could finally... <laughs> I actually start to make money, which is presumably what this challenge is all about. So, as I said, the plan was to craft bait, and that the only way for it to work is to craft them faster than anyone even thought was possible. How? Well, quick craft feature is going to be our biggest ally, however it's not magic so it's not just gonna do all the work for us. It allows you to convert about 2000 items in a second, but first those items have to somehow get to your inventory which is actually more troublesome than you'd think. Well, first of all, all the materials for crafting I'm gonna get from the bazaar, which, thanks to the booster cookie, I could now access with a single command. But you see, the problem with collecting things from a large offer in bazaar is that you can't really control it. It's like a water flooding your inventory with items, not leaving any space for other ingredients. And I know how ridiculous sounds calling this a problem, like if you couldn't just temporarily move some of the items into a chest, create a bunch of small offers or whatever. I mean, it's literally only a couple of seconds. Well, this challenge is ridiculous. To make a billion coins out, have to do that over 5,000 times, which is 7 hours of purely just putting items into a chest or creating offers. It's not even that I didn't want to do unnecessary work, I literally didn't have time to do unnecessary work. The method had to be perfect. Which meant there was only one solution left. Learn to control the water. And you know what's the easiest way to do that? Use a glass, which is what I call this technique. The glass of water. I didn't actually call it that, I just thought it would be cool if I did that and that would be kinda cool name for it. And the idea is very simple, all you need is to keep in your inventory one stack of one ingredient to create a glass in which you will fill the water. Of course there is a lot more tiny details that goes into it, I just feel like this video already contains too much random technical information to keep track of and that too just made it worse, especially when the only thing that matters that it's fast. And it works best for items crafted with two ingredients like light and the fish bait, both of them taking only about 10 seconds per thousand crafted baits. Certainly a lot worse to craft is the blast bait. Not only there are three ingredients, meaning I would have to create two glasses, you cannot even buy gold blocks, you have to buy gold ingots first and craft them separately. Luckily on Hypixel there is an item that can do that automatically. There is also a system where items that didn't fit in your inventory goes to your stash. <laughs> How does those two connect? Well, if you make items don't fit in your inventory on purpose, like cancelling sell offer for 70,000 gold, you can then pick them up with a single command, which then get auto-converted to gold blocks, only adding a couple of seconds to the process, in total taking about 20 seconds per thousand crafted baits. And there is the dark bait, two ingredients with a perfect 1 to 1 ratio, allowing you to craft the most baits per inventory, initially making it the fastest process, but because of the minion incident it was going to be the slowest. But while fishing for prismarine crystals, I had about half an hour to think, which turned out to be just enough to come up with an idea crazy enough to maybe actually work. Basically, I would start a contraption dispensing around 120 fish per second while simultaneously starting to craft baits, with a goal to keep the number of fishes between 1 and 160, so the quick craft recipes won't change, because when they do, there's like one second cooldown, which ruins everything. I admit, it wasn't exactly the most reliable solution, but I wasn't exactly in a position to spend time thinking of something better either. Plus, as long as I don't mess up, it's actually fairly quick, also taking about 10 seconds per thousand crafted baits. And finally, combining all of the baits into the wild bait, which takes about 20 seconds. So in total, it should take about 1 minute 15 seconds to craft 1000 whale bait, and considering one whale bait is 1000 coins profit, it should be about 1 million in a minute, 100 million in less than 2 hours, and a billion under 20 hours. 
Well, 20 hours of purely just crafting, that is not counting, creating by offers, getting out with, moving, thinking, building, etc. And 20 hours assuming I will be able to keep the same pace, which is sort of like getting average time from 100 meter on and multiplying it by a marathon distance. It's simply not how it works. But still, with about 45 hours of daytime left, it should be walking the park, right? Right? Well, as for crafting system itself, my idea was to build a separate crafting system for each bait and connect them to the middle where I would combine them into the wild bait. One tiny problem, a hopper can transfer up to two and a half items per second while I was going to craft with a speed of about 100 items per second. And while in the end it may seem like I came up with some sophisticated solution to counteract this problem, no, I just placed a bunch of hoppers hoping it will work somehow, which as you may expect was working perfectly fine and was good enough to at last start. Um, I just realized, probably one of the longest crafting sessions anyone has ever done in Minecraft. At least I can't find any sensible reason why anyone would do something like this, including this. In any case, it started a little bit slower, but I just needed some time to get used to all the different crafting patterns. Plus, I just didn't have enough money to afford focus on one bait for a longer period of time, which is the most efficient way to approach it, because you don't have to move between stations so much. However, speaking of money, it was rising fast. I mean, I had no way of keeping track of it since everything I made was being immediately spent on buying more materials just by the amount of chests being filled with the wild baits where each chest is 5 million coins I could feel myself becoming rich. I woke up early that day so it was still morning, my stamina was good, my morale was good, life was good. Around 5 hours later I was closing on the first milestone of about 100 million coins, which was slightly behind the schedule, but it was fine, cause now that I could afford to just start stocking up on every material in advance, I knew the production was about to take off. The only thing stopping me was the crafting system, which in the long run turned out to be not that fast, but that's why I built the second one. Um, exactly the same as the first one and just switched between them. Which was also the last, somewhat interesting thing to talk about that day, the rest could be summed up in three words. Crafting by mats. 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 <laughs> it was terrible. Two hundred and fifty million on day one profile may seem like a lot, not on this challenge, in fact it was way off the optimal pace. What could be blamed on a couple of issues that came out on the day one of crafting, ranging from pretty easy to fix to I think I'm just gonna die. First one was the whole process slowing down due to the shortage of prismarin crystals in the market, which probably made sense considering it's the rarest ingredient I needed and I was buying like hundreds of thousands of it. <laughs> However, the easy fix would be to just set a bunch of offers over night which then would be ready for the next day. The second more worrying issue was the price of the whale bait starting to drop, which is very unusual during marina but also probably made sense considering now I was in the equation as well. But that's why the fix would be to probably just don't do anything, go to bed and overnight there should be enough time for the price to go back to normal. And the last issue was that I, <laughs> I already had enough of it. Which probably made sense considering human brain shouldn't be focused for more than about an hour at a time and that's probably referring to this normal kind of focus like at a school and not to this weird combination of also guitar hero and stock trading at the same time I was doing for basically entire day with barely any breaks. And the worst part is that there is just no fixing that, it's my life now and as the time goes on it's only gonna get worse. Well, I guess one positive thing about all this is that my mind was just so exhausted at all time, I don't think I ever in my life slept better than during this challenge, and that's not even a joke. Morning day 3 meant I had officially passed the halfway point, and because I was only a quarter way done, there was some catching up to do. But the most important thing that was going to literally define how the rest of my day will look like was the price of the wild bait. Well, as you may remember, my predictions were that since I was accounting for like half of the supply and I'm not gonna be selling them, the price should go up. 
However, I overlooked one simple fact that when I go to bed, a vast majority of Skyblock players do as well, so there's no one left to fish. And no, the price didn't went back up. In fact, it even dropped a little bit, just straight up halved my confidence level the second I saw that, but it wasn't time to panic yet. Because you see, what I didn't tell you about yet was an event I was looking forward since the very beginning and that could turn things around. Jerry season, aka Christmas. Why it's important? Well, it's when for about 10 hours a whole community gets access to a special fishing location with unique rewards, motivating even more people to fish even harder. And combined with the Marina Mayor and Fishing Festival, it's when the price and demand are at their absolute peak, making it single best time to sell your baits ever. And since I didn't have much choice anyway, the plan was to for now actually stop selling most of my baits, but instead just store everything in chests, which now that people will be awake should allow the price to go up, and when cherry season will come and everyone else enter the market I will be selling my baits for a much higher price. One drawback to this strategy was that I still would have basically no way of keeping track of my progress, but this should make a difference. After all, all I need to do is to just focus on my job. So without thinking too much of it, I went back to crafting, waiting for the price to go up. And so one hour has passed. Two hours has passed. Three hours has passed. Four... <laughs> The, the, the price wasn't going up. <laughs> In fact, it was just keep dropping. Okay, now was the time to panic. Because if the price is not going to up before the cherry season, it certainly won't go up when I enter the market with thousands of baits, meaning I will be selling my baits for a much lower price. And as the price goes down, it requires exponentially more time to compensate for it. And since I already lost quite a lot of time yesterday, it was not looking good. First of all, like, what do I even do? Just keep crafting, hoping for the price to magically go up? Or, I don't know, try to find something even faster than the method I was just convinced was the absolute fastest way to do it. Which, assuming is even possible, would definitely take some time. A time I'm not gonna spend crafting, a time that could as well already decide of everything. Well, the next couple of hours were very chaotic to say the least. Too scared to go all in for either option, I kept crafting with the old method, but in the back of my mind coming up with a various desperate ideas, only to after a quick testing realize they all, to put it simply, suck. And go back to crafting, with each failed attempt slowly starting to think of a best way to emphasize the difficulty of the challenge, which would justify my defeat. When it hit me. An idea. So simply a genius I still can decide whether I'm the smartest person in the universe or an absolute moron for not figuring it out earlier. Basically, if you connect a hopper to a chest, it will start filling it with items. If you connect a second hopper, it will also start filling it with items at the same exact speed. Now, if one hopper will be filling the chest with one kind of items and second hopper with other kind of items, and they start filling the chest at the same time, at the end, half of the chest will be filled with one kind of items and other half with other kind of items. Same goes for three, four or even five hoppers. So now, if those kind of items by a random chance happen to be bait ingredients where each hopper is responsible for one item in the recipe, what you get is ingredients prepared in a perfect proportion to craft, which is basically what I was wasting a ton of time doing in my inventory when it could have been done in half a second by breaking a chest. You may ask, okay, but still, the chest is going to fill up much slower than doing it manually. Well, yeah, but nothing is stopping you from setting up a whole army of chests working at the same time, and all you are doing is just going around breaking and replacing chests. It's perfect. Now, it made little sense to do it with the light and the fish bait, cause the previous method was already fast enough, and it still doesn't work for the dark bait, cause I couldn't have more than 150 fishes in my inventory at the time, but for blessed and the whale bait, the two longest processes, it was a blessing from the sky. <laughs> Reducing the total crafting time by like 20 seconds, which may not seem like a lot, but that's literally like an additional 300 mil at the end. However, obviously, between an idea and fully working system that uses the idea, there is still a lot more thinking and strategizing to do, which turned out to be another one and a half hours of, at this point, very valuable time. But at least I could finally feel like everything is fully optimized and all was left is race against time. 
It was already like an afternoon at that point, yet the combination of fear, determination and desperation made me completely forgot of a concept of time or food and I still didn't eat anything that day. But as the adrenaline was finally starting to wear off, it really hit me how much I needed a break. Except I couldn't take a break. At least I didn't know if I can take a break, I reminded that I still had no idea how much money I have nor how much more I need. The only thing I could go off of is that yesterday I lost a lot of time, today I lost a lot of time and tomorrow is the deadline. We just screamed a miles behind the schedule and cannot afford to waste even a minute longer. <sighs> so I didn't. And until pretty much the rest of the challenge, the only time I wasn't crafting was when I was asleep. Although that's not entirely true, that last night I also had a dream of me crafting. I was crafting even when I was asleep, <laughs> let's just say it was a long 24 hours. The market just crashed. Um, I'm losing so much money. <laughs> it's not even funny. <laughs> okay, so there may be a couple of questions coming up in your mind like what's going on? Why does it say four days? Does it mean I failed? Yes. No. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Let me explain. So we left at the point when I started to craft with the new method. And no, there are no more problems to overcome. The method was fast, the process was smooth, everything going as expected. But you see, I still wasn't selling the vast majority of crafted bait, because even though now I could craft much faster, it still didn't make sense to sell it for a lower price. And if there is one consistent thing looking at the history of the whale bait prices, it is that sudden spike. Every 5 days and 4 hours, which is conveniently exactly how long one year on Hypixel's cable class, and the exact time between each Jerry season, yes, I still believe the spike is going to happen and I was going to be ready. And then close to the end of the challenge, it actually happened. And after hours and hours of crafting, it was the first time I started to count how much bait I will have to actually sell and realize the grave mistake I made. I'm not gonna sell it in a billion years, okay, maybe a billion is a bit of exaggeration, but the thing is, it was too little too late to sell the entire thing making sell offers, and if I would try insta-sell it, it would just instantly crush the market, making all of it basically worthless. And so yeah, not really sure what to do about it, I decided to at least try to estimate how much worth of stuff I have at the moment. And guess what? <laughs> I should have done it way earlier, because after quick calculations it turned out I had over 150 double chests of whale baits, which is already about 800 mil, and there was also over 100 mil in the purse, over 100 mil in the buzzer, and millions worth of material still in the system. In short, it was safe to say I had over a billion net worth, which which means I did it. A billion net worth, made in half a week. Which I'm not sure was the goal. <laughs> I mean the goal was billion coins, which is technically the same because it doesn't take you any work to convert it to coins, but I still wasn't sure if I can count that. Well, one thing I knew for sure, I would rather die than go back to crafting. And I wouldn't say I was tired. Tired, I was two days ago, and we've moved to way past that point. Now my mind was at a different plane of existence, and I would start just spontaneously forget where am I or what I'm supposed to do, or catch myself staring at the screen for a full minute, not processing anything at all. Which I don't think you can ask for more clear signs that things got out of control and it's time to stop. But have I done it? That would mean everything I did to get to this point was basically meaningless, and I don't think I would forgive myself if I just threw it all away right at the end. So for those exact reasons I obviously didn't, but like now that I learned it's technically done and I could just leave, don't worry about it anymore. For this decision there was no longer a second option visible to me. And to fix the problem whether it counts or not, I thought it would be fair to just split it to two separate times, one now and second after I let everything sell and billion coins will be actually in my purse. 
And yeah, the next day was basically just that, logging onto Hypixel every couple of hours and slowly selling all of it. However, because it was already after all the major events and the demand has dropped significantly at the end of it, I still wasn't quite there yet, but it was also when I realized I should be close enough to just start insta-selling the rest of it, and if the market crash would happen, I still should have enough stuff to get over a billion. Like, obviously, I would be losing a ton of money and even more after the market will inevitably crash but I, I just didn't care. Plus, I just hated the idea of dragging it out for one more day, so I decided to just go for it. Well, the market just crashed. Um, I'm losing so much money. It's not even funny. Okay, one more chest. We are so close. Oh no, wait. In the few more stacks. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay, that's it. There you have it. Billion coins. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm gonna go to bed. And there you have it, um, the official timer should be looking something like this, although the only one I can truly verify is the last one, cause I can just check time from the beginning and compare it to the time at the end. For the other two it's basically impossible to tell the exact time now, but should be something around this. Also apparently there was some update, causing the price of the whale bay to absolutely skyrocket. <laughs> so technically, if you want to count how much net worth I made in 3 days, it was more like 3 billion. <laughs> but I digress. Also I liked how this challenge basically marked itself at the history of the whale bait supply. Like if you look at it, it's some random ups and downs until you get to this. This slow yet steady rise of supply, the origin of which one may only wonder. <laughs> But anyway, um, also why does it say July? I, I don't know, it's probably just bugged. <laughs> it's fucking December. <laughs> it's not even funny at this point, at this point it's just sad. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching, see you soon I suppose.